Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to format charts. Let's get started. So our chart is on page two, and you'll see right here that if I want to select the chart, typically I'm going to click in the chart area. Notice where my cursor is at right now. It's not over the plot area or any of the bars or anything else, just in the top left chart area. So I click, and when I click in here, you should see that the chart is now selected. I could tell that because of the sizing handles on the corner and the sides, as well as the chart tools design design and format tabs. So the first one we're going to look at up here is the chart tools design tab and the design tab has to do with the overall design of the chart. Okay and so that's going to be things like the chart styles and the chart style it, it's pretty varied on the different options that you could choose and once you have your data in your chart you can pretty much choose any of these styles. And so if you want to see a list of all of the styles you could hit the more button. The more button is in the bottom right of the gallery and you click on that and you'll see that all of the styles are now uh, displayed. For this one I'm going to choose chart style 8 which is a little bit of a transparent look at the bottom of the uh, bars here and so now what we're going to do is change the chart colors. The chart co colors are also in the design tab in the chart styles group. They're to the left of the chart styles and it says uh, chart colors or change colors rather and so if I click on this you'll see that you have some colorful options up at the top and which have different colors and then down below that you have um, monochromatic colors which are all uh, variations or shades of the same color. The one that I'm going to choose from down here is this one right here which is chart color 14 and so I select that and you'll see that the colors are applied once I click it. Okay so now what we're going to do is uh, I want to show you the legend which is down here at the bottom. Sometimes when you create a chart the legend may be kind of difficult to read and so especially on something like this where uh, the background is a uh, colored background. One of the things we might want to do is change the shape style and so that's going to be in our chart tools format tab. Notice we're working in the format tab when we uh, deal with individual components on the chart. The design tab is more for the entire chart to change. So I'm going to go to the chart tools format tab and over here is the shape styles group and it shows you some of the shape styles and you see that as I hover over these the shape changes and if I click the bottom right more button in the bottom right of the gallery I now see all of my styles. Now up here at the top are colored outlines which are only the outlines and then you have right here which is a colored fill, light color, subtle effect, moderate, and intense. Basically they uh, become more of an effect as you go down. I'm going to ho hover over some of these to see how they look and I'm going to choose this black one right here, moderate effect black dark one. Typically when I'm dealing with text and kind of small text like this I want to have a dark background with light text or a light background with dark text. Next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to change the font size down here. Again this font size is a little bit small so I'm going to go to the home tab font group and it's currently size 12. I'm going to increase this to size 16. Notice that as I increase my size the chart automatically reduces size. Okay so obviously I wouldn't want something this big but uh, down here size 16 is a good size for this one. Okay so you shouldn't need to adjust your chart at all while increasing the font size of any of the chart elements. Alright so now what we're going to do is select the chart title which is up here in the top right of the chart and it says regional averages and I'm going to show you how to change your word art styles. So remember since it's an individual component on the chart I'm going to go to the chart tools format tab and you'll see right over here is the chart uh, word art styles and so since I have the um, title selected this will only affect the title text and so I see some of the styles that I have right here and I'm going to click the drop down arrow and I'll just choose this one right here okay and so I uh, select the style and the cool thing about these styles is you actually don't have to uh, stick with that style if there's something you don't like so for instance on this one it's still a little hard to read I'm going to see if I could adjust the text fill the text outline and the text effects to make it a little bit easier so the text fill is also in the word art styles group I could click that and usually with dark background I want something with very light text either white or a light gray I'm going to choose white text one darker five percent for the outline right here I'm also going to choose a lighter color but I'm really going to look for something that uh, looks good with the um, with the title text and so I'm gonna go with let's see here maybe maybe that color right there something darker indigo background too okay so I choose that 
And then finally you could also change your text effects. I'm going to apply a shadow to this. And so you can see as you hover over the shadow changes just so slightly, but you'll notice it more on bigger text. So I'll choose offset diagonal bottom left for this one. Okay. All right, so there's a couple areas on your chart that you should know about. You have your chart area, which is your entire chart. You also have your vertical and horizontal axis, which are right along here and here. You have your vertical axis title. And then you also, in between that, those areas, have your plot area. I select right here to select the plot area. The plot area uh, is a good area to affect just the area that contains the axes and also your uh, main plotting area, okay? But it doesn't affect the chart area, which is just on the outside of it, or the legend. So if I double click in this area, on again the plot area, you'll see that the format plot area uh, pane will pop up on the right side. Okay, so this will display all of the formatting options that I have. And you got, you can see I could actually go here to fill, and I could fill this area with a, a gradient fill or a picture or texture fill. And basically this is so that I can read my chart easier. Some of these will look good and some of these will not look good. Like this one doesn't look good because the text is too light with too light of a background. So I'm going to just go with no fill on it, but just know that you do have those options that you can change. Over here you see the plot area options. If you hit this drop down arrow, you could actually affect any of the parts of your chart. So this will affect the vertical or horizontal axis. This is for the legend, the chart title, any of your chart components can be found in here. So I know that if I wanted to make more changes to my chart title, I just click right there and it's going to select that on my on my actual chart. So, and you always have all of the formatting options up here in your chart tools format tab to affect any of these chart elements. So hopefully this video has helped you learn a little bit more about how to format your charts in PowerPoint. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.